Hi folks. <coughs> um, last sheet in this book, so unless I get another A3 book, I'm starting to another of acrylics. But I want to do the do it and finish this book off with, with the acrylic. Uh, and then uh, maybe do an oil. Right, well, the palette is uh, cadmium yellow, uh, yellow ochre, cad red, ultramarine, burnt sienna, and paint spray. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, there's five colours that I'm basically using with the uh, paint spray and white not included. So, we would make seven colours, but it's not, they're, they're, we won't class black and white as colours. Uh, right, now, um, Turner, Turner-esque skies. Uh, I've noticed that, that uh, on Net, oh, no, on Prime, I think they were showing uh, Mr. Turner, the Timothy Small version, which I love. Um, it's, it's, you've got to pay for it now. So I've I've uh, ordered myself a copy of that film. If you haven't seen it, have a look. If you've been, but you might have to pay three or four dollars or pounds to watch it unless you've got your own or borrowed it from someone. This also applies to uh, Mrs. Lowry and Son, uh, Timothy Spall starring in both of them. Uh, Marvellous film, very, very sad, but uh, he had a, a bit of eccentric life as did, did, did T.S. Lowry. Ellis Lowry, shall I say? Uh, Ellis, Ellis? Yeah, Roy well, Lowry. Um, but a fantastic artist. I've always liked him. I've seen his work on when I used to work in people's houses. Uh, I've, I've seen lots of things, uh, even, even Picasso. Uh, but the the Lowry, it just just it's just, just something about Lowry. He he did his own thing. And he painted his little smashlick figures and even the song on it. Anyway, enough of, enough of me waffling on. I'm going to just put a bit of a bit of um, uh, this, my bit of white. I, I just want to make a sort of a. a, a Sort of buildings. Just make them up as I go along. Then I'm going to glaze over these. But I want them to show through. Uh, Let's just go that size of that uh, house there. Oh, just work away, just putting these in. A little of the time they're, they're drying. Okay, let's uh, okay. That that'll do. We just just a little bit of a little watercolor. Uh, could put a church in there, maybe. All helps. Okay, 
and even that up a bit. Now the, I'm, I'm not getting it very good. Uh, well, I'm going to cover it all up anyway. All right, so, so there we go. That's, that's uh, just a start now. I've got, I, will, I've, I might try doing surface quite bright um, and using not one of the, one of the worn out brushes. Uh, where is the one? One, two, three. I've got the other one somewhere. Uh, I like these varnish brushes, they're very, very, very good for this sort of work, inch, the inch ones. I did buy an inch and a half one, but I seem to have mislaid that, and I've mislaid the one I'm looking for as well. Um, I've got a nylon one, but I don't like nylon, oh here it is. That one there, that one hasn't worn out. It's got quite long bristles, which I don't like, but uh, anyway, let's uh, get a bit of Bit of that, bit of this. Let's get some uh, paint on here. Another hot day coming up. It's been lovely weather, really. But host pipe bands here now. I don't think we're included in the ban at the moment. But we don't. We try to conserve as much as we can, but we do use a host pipe so for the uh, flowers and uh, and the beans. I'm not worried at this stage about what colours I'm using. I'm just just going to town on this one. A bit of blue and paint some paints grey. There's a short documentary on YouTube of an actor playing Mr. Turner, Lord Turner, um, and it shows shows uh, Turner using a, a rag and dipping it in his oil oil paints, and then then wiping it all over the, over his canvas. I've never seen that before. But then Turner was uh, going very sort of abstract early. I mean, his, his uh, I've been trying to emulate them, and in that their day, they weren't r rated very highly. But uh, we know that they became extremely popular in the impressionist days. Bit of ochre. My ochre is getting a bit jellyfied now. Now I'm not worried at all about what I'm doing here. I'm just working as like a I mean, like an experiment just to to see if anything comes that I quite like but certainly isn't yet um, Oh, 
pot of fire. It's taken me a long time to learn to do this. Um, to just paint all over the canvas or the paper. Um, in oils anyway. I wouldn't use this technique in, in watercolour. It would definitely go wrong. But but this, it, because it's acrylic, it dries fast and it's a great glazing medium as well. And also, the surface becomes waterproof. That's uh, a bit of a grey in it now. Look, the colours are showing through. Sure, that really works. I might have to take up the take the foreground up a bit. Uh, right, well, so let's uh, take that up a bit. Dipping in the water to get some sort of a. Uh, Oh, yeah. so, 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 so. Oh, a bit of blue in that. Don't like to mix uh, my greens for using blue. I like the paints grey. Uh -huh. Just fill in the gaps. We go back on the sky, let that dry up. Uh, I think maybe I'll put that church in too big, but, but never mind. Uh, right, let's get a nice sky cloud colour. Paints up, uh, burnt sienna.
I want a bit of a light horizon on here. Let's go over that background. Let's merge some of that there. A bit outrageous now. Uh, now, bear in mind, I can work over this any time. To reduce that grey or that black. Oh, I go back to this sky. See if we can get a web going over that. I want a light sky, a light misty sky that translates into mist on the land. See if we can put in some uh, illusion detail. We can put a pond or something in here. Just have some rough ground, I think. Oh, the 
bit of green. Look at that sort of mauvey colour bag. But Sienna, that's the predominant colour in the sky. I need to, what I want to do is to put some light in that pondy thing. So, so something just just poking through through the murk. I'm not doing that, that's a...
I think I've uh, made that too big, you know. So let's uh, make it a bit smaller. I'm more or less appreciated that. Let's go back my little brush. I uh, just gently put some Just do a bit of grey and white. No, that's not the right colour. No, these are my wrong thinking. I. I reckon originally I, I was too big on that and, and now I'm struggling to put it back smaller without it looking uh, um, mannered. Well, let's just, just work, up, work up that a bit. Might put some trees in there, that might solve the problem. Okay, let's uh, get some blue, some white and some... Alright, okay, now that's a bit better. Let's uh, uh, put some uh, yellowy, greeny colours in, in here.
right, let's see if we can just go over that and lightening it, lightening it. It's getting better. Looks like we've ended up with a with a misty a misty scene. Uh, okay, another pod. So, uh, right, well, we went around the houses here, didn't we? Let's clean my brushes. I'll take the masking tape off. I might have to ask you to mute your sound. Oh, how long have we been doing this one? Oh no, it doesn't matter. I'll, uh, it'll go into three videos now. Right, I'll put a mount on it. Or just it's probably too big. Yeah, that's too too wide now. Let's try the one. Well, there we are, misty, misty view. I quite like them with the with the border though. That is the frame, isn't it? Uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed the you know, roam around a, a landscape. It's as diffuse as, as I could sort of get it in the time. Well, I could have changed that. You could just about see the imprint of the, uh, or the ghost of the, uh, the buildings that I bought. That I should have paid more attention to those. Uh, okay, well that is the book complete. I'll just give you a little uh, tour of it. Uh, some will be upside down. Well, there's, uh, that one. It's. Uh, That was the Turner Sky. That was the Turner there. Uh, another sort of right Turner esque type. That, that is uh, just a landscape with, with a pond. I'll go a little, I'm going to give these to my, my children to keep. Uh, none of them are for sale. Uh, that one. That one. I quite like that one. Very limited palette. They, they, they are all varnished. The varnish for me is a coat of uh, dilute PVA glue. Very, very useful. And you can prime, can prime your painting boards with it. It's much cheaper than wasting gesso. Well, just a couple. They won't turn them sideways. Or, the River Wandle, just an impression. The upside down, upside down. 
Uh, to revise ourselves, I like those. And they 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 look good just in, in uh, two parts with a border in between. Oh, so I had a session, but that's more like a Monet. That one. Well, anyway, there we are. So I hope you enjoy enjoyed the. Uh, the walkthrough impressionism or my my take on it uh thanks for watching please leave comments and i'll see you later bye bye